Hello, my name is Nasrin. And I'm so excited to share with you 5 minute vocabulary games. Make reviewing words fun and motivating. Your students will be engaged and super excited to participate in these 5 minute vocabulary games. So, are you ready for the excitement of reviewing vocabulary in your lesson? One more thing, forget about correcting a ton of papers every week to help your learners remember vocabulary and have much more fun reviewing vocabulary. Ready? Let's go! The first activity is which word is missing? Select six words from the previous lesson. Either write them on the board or have them as flashcards on the board. Then you ask the learners to recall the missing word. The next activity is called Where is? Select four or six words and write them on the board or have them as flashcards. Give students time to remember the words on the board and go through their meanings. Then ask the students to close their eyes and hide one of the words or take out one of the words and ask them to recall the missing word. The next one is synonyms, antonyms and a bingo call. Write four words on the board. Three out of four are synonyms and only one is an antonym. Students work in groups and they need to remember which word is an antonym. The group that guesses the word first says the word bingo. An exo or a rock scissors paper challenge game. You either write or hang a set of words on the board then set two teams with an equal number of students who will line up and compete against each other. The first person from each line will have to say the meaning of each word they pass until he or she meets the other competing student at the center. At the meeting point they play either rock, scissors, papers or X and O. The winner's team member stays in the line, but the member from the other competing line is out. The team who has more members towards the end of the time of the game is the winner. The next game is Match and Build, a Lego building challenge. In groups, students are given different sets of cards with pictures and words. As a group, the members cooperatively work and match words with pictures. And then they say bingo and the teacher comes and checks one word at a time. For each word, the students can build one building block of a Lego. After five minutes, the group with the tallest building block is the winner. The next game is Word Hunt with every text. The teacher helps learners recall and remember vocabulary they have learned the previous lesson. Each group is given a box with different tasks. In the box they could find different cards where they need to find either two singular or plural nouns, four adjectives, three pronouns, two verbs and of course the numbers can change every time. To use this also with no preparation, the teacher could just write them on the board and that set the students off to work in groups. And the first group who completes the task is the winner and of course they get either a certificate or any other surprise that the teacher decides. This is another game uh, that's really nice to start at the beginning of any lesson, which is word domino. The students simply need to add another word that starts with the fi a final letter of the word that they just heard. For example, cat, team, man, nice, egg. This activity is very, very nice and easy to prepare. 
uh, what the students need to do is help the mouse reach its food. The teacher hands out a set of 10 words to each group. Then each group works cooperatively and writes as many meanings as possible while the teacher is observing and monitoring. The teacher will move the mice according to the level of how the students are performing and the group that finishes first reaches the cheese. The last game is called a kiki dance which is one of my favorites. The teacher comes prepared with at least 30 words that the students have already learned from previous lessons. During the first level of the game, the teacher nominates different learners to say the meanings of words that the teacher chooses. Students need to cooperate together because if one student says an incorrect answer, then they lose a point against the teacher. But if they cooperate and they could even whisper the correct answer to the student who was nominated, then they get a point. If they get the first 10 all correct, then the teacher is required to sing a song. I normally go with short nursery rhyme songs. Then the teacher repeats the same process, but the prize is different this time, where the teacher is required to hop on one leg for three times. Then the final level of the game is where the students guess all 30 words and get the meanings of the words correct. Then the teacher is required to dance for 10 seconds, a kiki dance. Right below this YouTube video, you could find more than 300 word cards that you could download and use in your English lessons. Thank you for watching!